Hello everybody, this is Adam with Transparency Pro, the Game Machine, bringing you an update video. Yes, I didn't get to have a Fighting Friday video because of the issues which you've probably seen in my update video, which if you haven't watched, you probably should figure out what the hell's going on with my channel. So, but yes, I'm here to talk about some actual fighting game news. If you like anime fighters, which I do like some anime fighters, here's there's more news for us so there's actually though one of the announcements is more of a uh, release in Japan which I'm hoping it's uh, to come over here also the one announcement for the US is that there was a game that's about to come out this summer in Japan actually that's actually this month um, called under night in birth exe late yeah, it's a very strange name, but, you know, it's Japan, whatever. It's made by the people that do the Melty Blood games, which kind of has a really big cult following. It was a PS2 fighting game that got a lot of uh, popularity, Evo and things like that. And, of course, the PS2 not being a very, uh, how you say it, friendly uh, system with regions and stuff, you know, many people didn't get to experience it. So they have a new game called Under Night In Birth EXE Late. So... This game actually looks really good. I'll probably show some footage from the game on here. You'll probably see the trailer. Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited for this one. This one looks really good. It kind of looks like, kind of in a way, it does kind of play like a, at least it feels like it's it's fast enough to be like a Guilty Gear or Blaze Blue type game. So I'm really curious to see how this plays. Um, you know, and it's going to have online stuff like that. I've been debating whether I want to import it. Um, but yeah, this game is going to be coming to us by Axis Games next year. Uh, 2015 to the US, but it is coming out this month in Japan, so I'm debating on importing it. Let me guys know what you think. Import it, and once we get my TV fixed, <laughs> we'll be able to play some fighting games. Um, so yeah, that one looks really exciting to me. Um, also, apparently, too, that the Japanese port's getting two new characters, which, you know, most likely will come this way uh, as well. Okay, and then next up... We have one, probably don't know how to pronounce this, but this is coming to PS3 and Vita this fall in Japan called Denke Bunko? Bunko? Dengeki Bunko. Anyway, so Dengeki Bunko Fighting Climax, I hope to learn to pronounce these things one of these days, uh, is coming out in Japan. So, what makes this one very interesting? Uh, it's it's also made by the same people who actually uh, did uh, Melty Blood, so it's another French bread developed game, uh, which I don't think we've ever had a release of them here. If I'm wrong, someone please correct me, but I don't remember seeing it. This one's a very interesting one. This one kind of makes me think a little bit of either CBS2 or, or Marvel's Capcom 2 where you have assist characters. I don't know a ton of it because I don't speak Japanese. I haven't been following this one closely, but what's really got me interested in it is because I love Sword Art Online. And I know some people don't really care for that anime, but it has characters from that game, and there's, I guess, some other comic series from this smaller, um, or actually they're called light novels, which I'm assuming is kind of like, you know, kind of like, I guess, teenage fiction, things like that. But, but you know, I really like Sword Art Online. I thought it was a really good show, and the characters in it, it's going to make it interesting. So, um, yeah, there's apparently other uh, characters that's going to be in it. There's even going to be stages. If you're a Sega fan, uh, since Sega has something to do with this, uh, if you're a Sega fan, it's going to have Virtual Fighter stages in it. So you're going to have Akira's, um, Pi's stage is going to be in it. Um, also, let's see, apparently, um, oh, actually, I'm, I'm actually staying corrected. It's not the stages. They're actually the final bosses. Those two are the final bosses. You fight Virtual Fighter character as a final boss in a 2D fighting game. It just sounds insane to me. And it's one of those games I definitely want to want to play and look more into, and I'll show some footage on that. And I guess I'll touch on a light spoiler since I never uh, got this. So if you've not finished Persona 4 at all, if you have not finished Persona 4, stop listening now. There's a big spoiler here. Um... I'm even going to show like some screens, maybe even, of what happens, but... Okay, here we go. So, Persona 4 Arena, the DLC character Adachi. That's right, everybody's favorite homicidal dick of a cop is apparently busted out of prison. He's in the affected in the dark hour, and he is actually been announced as first week DLC for free. So, in Japan, he's pre-order DLC... Here they're actually doing it within the first week. After that, he's 
paid, which is kind of cool. You don't have to pre-order, but you do have to make sure you get it within the first week, so you don't have to worry about codes or anything like that. You just have to go in the store and download it. So that's kind of cool that they're uh, doing that. So, but anyways, guys, uh, let me know what you think. Is there any other fighters that you're excited for that maybe that's in Japan that hasn't been announced, or what about the ones that are coming, such as Persona 4 Arena uh, or Guilty Gear? I mean, you better bet your sweet ass I'm going to cover these games. Uh, Persona 4 Arena, definitely. Guilty Gear, I want to. I really want to get it for PS4, so that way you guys can have a better looking game. Uh, I definitely would like a better looking game. I know it's going to perform same frame rate, same performance. It's just, you know, resolution is going to be different, so I know that's not a big deal, but, you know, I need an excuse to get a PS4 because I'm going to get one eventually. But let me guys know what you think. So, till next time, game on.